this. Did he write the Quran or was it someone else who wrote it? You find no, he didn't write the Quran. Some say why? They say because he's an ummi, he can't read or write. We know in the Quran, the verses are clear. الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ الرَّسُولَ النَّبِيِّ الْأُمِّي Correct? الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ الرَّسُولَ النَّبِيِّ الْأُمِّي What does it mean? It says that they follow the messenger, the prophet, who is an ummi. In another verse of the Quran, you find the word ummi. هُوَ الَّذِي بَعَثَ فِي الْأُمِّيِّينَ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ Many said that he didn't write the Quran because he's an ummi. They said ummi means what? Ummi means that he can't read and write. No. Ummi doesn't mean he can't read and write. Ummi means he was never formally taught at an institution how to read and write. This is a vital point. If you say Rasulullah can't read and write, there's a problem there. There's a, like, how am I following a man who can't read and write? Our holy prophet learned more languages than everyone in this hall and everyone in this world put together. Our holy prophet could read and he could write. Ummi doesn't mean he couldn't read and write. It means that he was never formally taught at an institution how to read and write. What's the difference? The difference is if you say he was taught at that school in Mecca and then he wrote the Quran, they'll turn around and say that's Muhammad's opinions, not Allah. They'll say Muhammad's written his own book and he studied at that school and his teacher must be the one at that school who gave him that knowledge. Allama taba tabai has a phenomenal explanation for the meaning of the word ummi. He says, why do you think Allah would call his holy prophet ummi? For what reason? He says, a mother likes to see no one else but her bring up her child and educate her child. Likewise, Allah likes to see no one but him bring up and educate Muhammad. Correct? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he says my prophet's an ummi, doesn't mean he can't read and write. No one can ever say he was taught by anyone but me. Who taught him? I taught him. Why? Today, if you said Rasulullah wrote the Quran, people would turn around to you and say what? People would turn around to you and say, no way. That means that Muhammad, where did he study? You say he studied at Mecca University. Then who was his teacher? They'll say the person who taught him Arabic was this person. Everybody would turn around and say what? They turn around and that professor is the one who taught him about the Quran. Find out who that professor is. And then you'll realize who taught him the Quran. Ask any Arab at the time, did Rasulullah go to school? No. Did he go to college? No. Did he go to university? No. So who's the one who's taught him this? Who? Allamahu. Who? Allamahu the Lord, the Almighty, through the angel Jibra'il. That's the one who taught him how to read and write. But why did Rasulullah not display the reading and writing? Because he knew had he written, they would have said that's Muhammad's opinions. But while he doesn't write, no one can accuse him. Let alone the fact that some of the things he's writing, you need to have gone to a hundred universities to know, correct? If Rasulullah wrote this Quran, well, how does he know about the sea and the clouds and the solar system and the camel and the fingerprints? But anyway, besides that point, وَمَا كُنْتَ تَتْلُوا مِنْ قَبْلِهِ مِنْ كِتَامٍ what does the Quran say? The Quran says you never used to what? Recite a scripture before this, nor did you transcribe this. Their arguments are all weak and fable. Those who try to say that Rasulullah wrote the Quran, no, Rasulullah didn't write. Because he doesn't know, no, because they'd use an argument against him that Muhammad wrote it, that means it's Muhammad's opinions, no. So Rasulullah, if he didn't write the Quran, therefore then how did he instruct the writing of the Quran? Rasulullah would have scribes under him.